Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a song using N-Track Studio Pro and I have the um, 9.1 version um, installed on my iPad uh, Pro and one chip. Uh, before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe unless you have already done so. Now, before I start, I would like to say that what um, I'm going to show you is um, a tutorial version of the wizard, which has been added in the latest update. And um, if you go and click here on what it says, the question mark, it comes up here with a start tutorial wizard. And if you click on it, it will uh, ask you to create a new song. You therefore click no to because you don't want to save the current song. Then you get started. And uh, here it will guide you through a nice um, creation of song losing, uh, using uh, uh, loops, etc. already pre-created for you. So I'm going to use the same concept. I'm going to use the same sounds because I think uh, um, that um, it's a great job what um, the developers have done, so I hope that is okay and also will help to um, make known of that wizard uh, which that has been added in the last update. So I hope it is okay with the developers. So let's click skip tutorial. Uh, it asks me if I'm, one, if I'm sure to quit. I click yes. So I'm not going to go through the step-by-step uh, -step what the wizard has uh, actually um, uh, contains, but um, I'm going to put a little bit on my flavor, I suppose, and I'm going to uh, explain a little bit more what is happening. So I've just created a new song, but if you don't know how to do that, click here on the bottom right on the menu, select a new song, click no, and it will create a new song. It gives you the ability here to start your song using record audio, beat, compose, use loops, etc. Let's click the X to exit that uh, menu. And also let's click here on the X to kill the track as well, because I don't need it. Okay. Now let's click this icon here for loops. And um, it will show you now a list of the loops which I used previously, um, which um, are the ones I'm going to use for this tutorial. If you don't know how to locate them, just click on instrumental, click on demo song, and there they are. As you can see here, we have two uh, vocals, two WAV files, and we have also a MIDI file for the piano loop. If you click on the piano loop, it will play um, that MIDI uh, loop, that MIDI composition, and if you click again, it will stop. So let's try. If you click again on it, it will stop, and you can also play and stop here at the bottom, where it shows you a preview of that MIDI file. If you double click on, on the piano loop itself, it will add it to um, the main screen. Now I'm going to use my fingers to pinch out vertically and also horizontally, like so. Now what I'm going to do down here on the left, I'm going to click on this icon here for loop, which will also activate the play by default. Let's try. Okay, let's click on play again to stop the playing of that MIDI loop. Let's add some effect. Let me show you how easy it is. Let's click here on this icon here for the mixer. You have EQ here, but then you have the instrument here for the grand piano. If I click underneath there, it opens uh, the sampler. Let's click where it says here plus. Then we are going to choose the effect under end track, and then we are going to choose a chorus. Now I'm going to change the settings as I play, so I hear what uh, I prefer to leave them on. Okay, that would do. So let's click on the X here to exit. Now, let's add um, something else, like a bit track, and look how easy it is. Let's click on this icon here with a plus sign. Let's add a bit track. And now you can, uh, um, it just, uh, your normal um, drum track, you just um, um, click on the different step you want to activate. So I click play again on the MIDI track and I create a simple bit track. So 
as you can see, it has created a, a drum track underneath the piano track. Again, let me pinch. Um, so let's reset the zoom so you can clearly see I have a MIDI track and I have a B track. Nice, isn't it? Very easy. Now let's use the same function here, yeah, plus again, and let's add this time an instrument track. Let's choose uh, something from the guitars and basses, and let's choose a bass and this bass light. Now let's um, exit that, and as you can see, we have uh, this track here underneath here, which has been added. Oops, you can change the setting here, clicking like that, if you want to change the pump, but I'm not going to. Now let's click um, um, in here, and then now we see the piano roll for that uh, bass. Now let's use our fingers to pinch um, out, so to zoom out, and also move at the top until it serves C3, the height of C3, and I want to be, to be able to see a, a flat, like so, and at the same time we want to see an F on the lower octave, and I'll explain that in a second. Let's now zoom out horizontally as well, like so, and a little bit more, like so. Right, let's create, click on the note here, and let's create some note. So I think it goes something like this. If I remember correctly. So hopefully I have created the right bass track. Let's try. Okay, fantastic. Now I can click on this region here, click again on the mixer, then on the tools here, and I can select cut selection actually. Probably, no, let's undo that. Let's leave it as it was before for now. And that will do, yeah. So let's um, again reset the zoom in there. And now let's, um, I'll tell you what, let's select again that track like so, and let's add uh, a different type of effect. So. Let's click here again on EQ, on the effects, on the plus sign, on the end track, and let's scroll down where it says end track bass amp. And then let's choose a preset from the list here. And let's choose something like this boomy bass. And let's try again. sounds really good and you can see uh, the truck nicely there as well which is really good now I just minimized that region because I, I actually don't need it um, let's add some vocal so let's go back to the loop now and um, double click on these choir vocal and as you can see that has been added in again so let's click play nice let's select that uh, choir vocals let's go to the EQ and let's change the setting on the EQ and this is really nice view you can change to all your EQ's preferred settings I'm going to add some vocal clarity but you can further changes as you like um, next what I'm going to do is to bring in a lead vocals double click again like so again let's resume in and let's go back to the beginning and click play. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for really nice. Let's select that lead vocals and let's add some effects. And uh, here it says add effects. Let's click on the plus sign again under end track. And I don't know, let's add some vocal tune. This is what the also the wizard does to make a more dramatic impression of that um, lead vocals and it really depends on the setting that you do on the screen you can change your tunings for example if you wanted to sound just a little bit uh, uh, less in tune 
Now I'm going to add another one, another effect. I'm going to select the reverb and I'm going to play now and change the settings as it is playing. Pray for your family. So as you can see, it is really straightforward how to, in terms of how you can create a song inside the end track uh, uh, studio. Um, but let's add another track. Um, let's assume, for example, we add uh, an instrument track and we want to improvise on it, for example, with a synth. So let's choose something, the same synth which has been used on the wizard. And um, I'm not going to select the arpeggio now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that zone again. I'm going to kill it this time. I'm going to cut it like so. And then I'm going to uh, click in there. And then I suppose I'm going to click on this button here to show the status bar. I click on the keyboard again so that I can see the track record. And I can move these up as well. I can go back to the beginning like so, so that we are all set there. And now, for example, you could pl play at the same time, or you could even record if that is what you would like to do. So why not? Pray for your family, pray for our enemies, all oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see, pray on your strategy, pray for your mental ease, pray for the in the street. So I stop there. As you can see, I have created a new track, which I improvised on with this nice synth. And there you go. I created a simple song. So let's play again in totality. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray on your strategy. Pray for your mental ease. Pray for the industry. So I think it's a, a great uh, uh, do. Um, it's unique in terms of functionalities. It's different than Cubases and others. Uh, definitely um, different, but as you can see, it's a great addition as well to your list of apps on uh, your iOS setup. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you at the next time. Thank you. Bye.